What's up guys? So I just wanted to share a breakfast that I normally do throughout the week if I'm just running short on time and just want to make something quick. I really love eggs um, and if I don't want to have like full egg yolks, I do have an egg white carton readily available. Um, so going, so moving on, um, I do have my pan here. It's warming up now. Um, I also have my banana milk. If you want to know how to make this, you can definitely just click the link here um, and I'll show you how to make my banana milk with coconut whipped cream. It's delicious. Um, so starting off, I have a non-stick pan, but I go ahead and use butter. I use salted butter. Um, I do like butter uh, quite a bit. And this, the, one of the things that I actually use when I'm cooking uh, quite often, I do use olive oil as well, um, but I try to go for the stick butter. So I'm not getting the tub butter. If you notice, when you get the stick butter, you'll the ingredients on there will usually say milk, cream, and salt. Um, and that's pretty much it. And that's what I try to go for because it's reduced amount of ingredients. When you get tub butter, you'll come to find that you have more chemicals within that. And then there's also like a really long ingredients list, which shouldn't be on butter. Um, so go for something that's really simple. Um, so again, stick butter. If you want to get unsalted butter, you can definitely do that. So I'm going to go ahead and shake these egg whites up. I do have my butter in my pan already. It's already warm. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up to where it's fully full. Now, like I said, I do love eggs and egg whites are a really good protein source. So I go ahead and make this pretty dense. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to leave that there and I'm going to get some seasoning really quick. So my go-to seasoning is Slap Your Mama. I love Cajun seasoning and I love spicy food. Um, so this is something that I always do on my eggs. If I'm not doing this, um, I do use um, just regular salt and pepper, just very simple. But if you want to kind of like add a little taste to your eggs, this is a great seasoning to have. Um, so I just sprinkle this on there. Now because this has a lot of salt in it already, I don't normally super salt the eggs or I don't super season the eggs just because there's already salt in there. And I also do plan on using some cheese and cheese has salt in it as well. So just to reduce the sodium, I only spice it just a little bit to where it looks like there's seasoning on the eggs. Um, but I'm just gonna let that sit there for a second, let that cook. I usually cook this on a pretty good heat just because it cooks quicker. Um, but I'm just gonna let that sit. Okay, so now that the egg is cooking, um, it is rising a little bit. Don't know if you can tell that, um, but I do have my go-to vegetables, avocado and tomato. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just chop that up so that I have some veggies with my eggs. So I like to eat these cold and fresh um, just because it's the best way to do it in my opinion. But if you want to um, cut some vegetables up and then put it in your eggs, you can definitely do that or saute them a little bit. You can do that as well. And then I go ahead and cut this skipping this out. So normally, I'm not going to lie to you, I do normally use a half of an avocado. I usually eat about a half avocado every day. Um, and if you want to add some lemon juice and salt to this, you can. If you don't want to, that's totally fine. Um, and then, so I've got my egg cooking. So I've got to the point where I can flip it. I guess that was as clean of a flip as I could have done with this much egg. So again, just letting that sit. And because I want to add cheese on there, I'm going to go ahead and add cheese on top. So when the bottom side is done cooking, I can just put it on my plate. So it's not a ton of cheese, just a good amount of loaf of cheese. Just put on there just so you can have some cheese on your eggs. And then what I'm going to go do from here is go ahead and just fold this in half just because it is almost like an omelet style. So um, folding it in half, letting it cook, and then just flipping it again just to make sure everything's cooked in the middle. Put this guy on my plate. It is done. So now I have an egg white cheese omelet and then I have fresh vegetables on the side. Now that I have my plate full, I'm going to go ahead and get my favorite hot sauce, which is Cholula hot sauce. So now I've got my Cholula. You know I'm real about this because I buy the big ones. Um, and then from here, again, like I said, I love spicy food and love adding hot sauce to anything. So I'm just going to douse this in hot sauce because it's really good. 
And then... And this is the final product. Here is my egg white cheese omelet with my tomatoes and avocados. If you did like this video and just like this recipe, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe this video. I will continue making videos with foods that I eat on a daily basis to help you feel confident in the decisions that you make and then also teach you ways on how to stay healthy while enjoying the foods that you love.